Chris, it is truly an honor for me to meet you today. Before I start asking you questions, I want to introduce you to somebody that introduced me to your music as a young kid. This is my mom. Hi. Hi, Hi Mrs. Mor is, is it Mrs. Morales? Yes, how are you? I have something to show you. Oh, oh, oh God bless you. Thank it's you. A, it's an original. And thank you so much. This is such a thrill to have my son interview you today. Ah, uh, my thrill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, she's had that poster forever. Oh, and, gosh, bless her heart. She, um, how excited are you to be a part of this incredible, riveting docuseries that is just fantastic? Well, you said it all. I, 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 I thought they did such a great job. Uh, but when they called me about it, I jumped on it. I said, oh, you know, I'd love to do that. So I, you know, I was a witness. I was there in Laurel Canyon. And... Uh, I, I did a, a day of interviews with, or, or stuff with them, and then when I saw the final uh, version, I was really happy because they did it right. They got the, the research right, people right. It was, it was great. It was a good job. Let's talk about the magic uh, of Laurel Canyon. I lived in LA. I used to work at Power 106 Radio, and I used to, yeah, I used to take uh, the 101 and you know exit Barham there. But I went. Through Laurel Canyon so many times. I know that little store that's there. I learned so much from this docuseries. But when you were there and all this was happening, tell me about the magic that was alive then. The magic was uh, that I could go up Laurel Canyon Boulevard from the Sunset Strip in four minutes to my house. And I lived on the top of, my gosh, was it, what was it? I'm talking to my wife. Excuse me, Dave, what? She doesn't know. Okay. I can't remember the name of my street, but I lived at the very top. I could see the entire city from my house, rented this house. The excitement uh, was being able to just go back and forth between the Sunset Strip, which was energy and music and the whiskey was starting to get really popular and clubs were getting really good and all these new bands were happening. So this was good. I remember uh, the, the Springfield, Buffalo Springfield playing at the whiskey. I helped him get a job there. And then I remember Steven coming up to my house with me after one of their shows. And we uh, got to know each other quite well and ended up working together in 1972 for a couple of years. But um, I actually left Dave uh, right before Cass Elliott and all that stuff was going on. They're all meeting at her house and, Peter Tork and all that. So I had already moved uh, moved on to another area, but uh, I missed that part, so to speak. But I already, I saw those people in other areas. I want to ask you about your memories of being on the Ed Sullivan Show. I went back and watched your performance uh, on YouTube recently, and I just couldn't. I was just taking. It, it's incredible. But your memories. Tell me about that performance. <laughs> well, um, Dave, I have a book coming out in September. A memoir. And um, I go into great detail about that particular evening. Well, what stuck out with me, and I'll just give you a hint of it, because it was live television, I was backstage and we were going to be going on next after the dog act. Okay? So I'm backstage holding my bass and um, watching this guy running the four German shepherds around in a circle and giving him a hot dog out of his pocket. I just thought it was fantastic. It was live TV. Here it is. It's like vaudeville. So uh, it was an interesting night. We had a couple of things going on, but you'll see that in the book. Uh, if you were on the Sullivan show, you you had made it. Uh, the trick was to be able to, to be asked back. We didn't get asked back. The doors didn't get asked back. I don't think the Stones got asked back. The Stones had to... Uh, uh, Ed, uh, or the producer of the show, wanted the, them to change the lyric to uh, "Let's spend some time together" instead of "Let's spend the night together." You know the story. So. And I don't know what the door. My friend, I could, I could, I could see for hours. Truly an honor. Truly a pleasure. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll get to talk with you when your book comes out. I would. No, you will, you will definitely get to talk to you when that book comes out. And if your mom comes, you'll get extra time. And awesome. Seriously, I really, really wanted to make that happen. Thank you so much for everything you've given the world. Take care, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much.